often when we're thinking about the future, at least the research I've read, is it's almost disembodied. Right? It's sort of like thinking about a friend. You know, you, this future self is not you. And so therefore we have a hard time connecting with it. And, you know, especially when you add money into it, you know, sort of this range of potential outcomes. You know, if we if we're starting here, like present, and we, we may think we want to go here, and that's what we're asking people to do when we get involved in you know, planning for the financial future, is we're saying, look, can you please start thinking about 30 years from now? Mm -hmm. And most of us don't know where we're going to be five months from now, right. particularly now with sort of a lot of the social structures kind of changing so fast. So to get people to think about 30 years from now, and then even if we can get people to think about 30 years from now, you, the dilemma is, of course, I think we intuitively know the, the range, you know, we're not going to be able to do this, mm -hmm. right? And so the range of potential outcomes really looks much more like this. And our hope, of course, is that we can narrow in on this, this experience. But I think people get nervous about this idea that, look, I, I don't know where I'm going to be 30 years from now. This range of potential outcomes is, is huge. Mm -hmm. And so then we have a tendency just to say forget. And, and of course, we always got that balancing act between between um, you know living today, right, the present, and planning for the future. And the moment we start planning for the future, that involves all these sort of right, fears, concerns, uncertainties, all that stuff that's not really fun. Mm -hmm. You know, it's far more fun to worry about today. Amazon Prime was an interesting experience for me, right? So you sign up for Amazon Prime, you get free shipping, and you pay some, I can't remember what it is, $79. Yeah, $79 a year and you get free shipping. So suddenly it reduced the sort of decision-making process down to just, do I want that book? Yes, I want that book. Boom, done. And I would order these books, um, and I, I realized I had a huge stack of books that I never read. So I made this new rule, and I think this is sort of the point, is that we're hardwired for instant gratification. I mean, it's just genetically, we need to figure out how to have happiness, peace, security now. Right? We're not really all that concerned genetically about next year. So if we're sort of hardwired, we need to figure out how to automate that good behavior. I mean, we know that thinking about the future is really important, mm -hmm. but we're hardwired not to do it. So we need to build in automated behavior. And so with Amazon Prime, I made this new rule that I, I had to put a book on my, in my shopping cart or on my wish list mm -hmm. for two days before I could actually buy it. <laughs> it's pretty fascinating. Now there's this huge stack of books in my wish list, not here. Right, so I'm finding out just by putting in a little rule that would prevent me from making instant gratification decisions, you know, because I know I'm prone to suddenly I'm not buying nearly as many books because they're all sitting in my cart. I go in once a month, I'm like, wow, look, there's 20 books in here, and I just delete them all.